조선중앙방송입니다. 이 오라 없이를 알려드리겠습니다. 굿모닝 morning, everyone. Right now, I'm at the Reunification Monument, and we're gonna make our way down to the DMZ or Pamunjom. And Pamunjom is about 170 kilometers away from Pyongyang and about 70 kilometers away from Seoul. It's a two and a half hour drive, and let's go check out the DMZ. Then, who started the Korean War? The following scenes give an answer to this question. At 4 a.m. June 25th, 1950, the South Korean Public Army broke out the aggressive war against the northern half of the Republic at the instigation of the United States. Alright guys, who would like to learn a North Korean pop song? Yes! Alright, this song is by Bong Band. One of the most popular bands in DPRK. It's a 14 piece all women band. This is the song Karira Pektu san, We Will Go to Mount Pektu. And it goes a little something like this. So here we are, halfway to the DMZ at the tea house, where we get uh, refreshments, coffee, uh, juice, milk, some candy and biscuits. Unmi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah. Why? Oh, it's cold. Ah, oh, I'm cold. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got some fruit here as well. Yongmi. 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 Got some uh, homegrown apples and pears and watermelon. Yeah. 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 So we'll spend about ten minutes here. And we're about an hour away from the DMZ. So um, yeah, it's good to get off the bus, stretch your legs, and to admire the traffic on the, the highway. So here we are. We just arrived at the first checkpoint of uh, the DMZ. We're getting off the bus now. <clears throat> bus driver's been driving very well. Ugh. So this poster here says uh, to make Korea one again. The one behind it showing the children's face says to hand down a reunified Korea to the next generation. So when we arrive at the first checkpoint here, um, there's toilets on the left, there's a shop in the inside and a debrief room where we uh, get talked about the area. Like, uh, there's a map, which I'll show you guys later. And, uh, hey, hey, oh, hey, I'm with a camera. <laughs> all right, let's go inside. Hey! Ah! All right, here we are. Here we are. What's going on? What's going on? Ha No, ugly. 
Yay! Coming. It looks good on you, mate. Oh, yeah. 안녕하십니까. Hello. <laughs> so we have some uh, artwork here, some propaganda posters. The black line in the middle is the military demarcation line. It is times 257 kilometers. So the four kilometer section is the demilitarized zone. This is the building where we are standing now. And this is the non boundary line. So inside the demilitary zone, this is Palmer's village here, Palmer Dump. 240 families are living here. And you can see the military demarcation line. So the white first are our soldier posts. And the blue ones are US posts. So for your safety from here, our army soldiers will be accompanied with you for your safety. So here we are at our first stop. We're going to see where the Armstons Agreement was signed uh, that ceased the Korean War in 1953, July 27th. So this is the monument to the given desperate guidance of our great leaders on Panmunjom. So our General Kim Jong Il visited Panmunjom four times in his lifetime. So this is a plaque here that was uh, erected to show when Kim Jong-il visited in 1972 and when Kim Jong-un visited in 2012. So you know, pre-war broke out on the 25th of July 1950, but in the first year of war, the United States got serious political and economical blow. That's why, to gain the time to recover the loss, they had to suggest amnesty's talks to our side first. So during the absence talks, uh, those who sat on this side of the table belong to North Korea, DPRK, and those who sat on this side belong to the UN and US. So now we're going to check out uh, where the Armstrong Agreement was actually signed, which is a big hut. Um, it was constructed within a, a week, which is pretty cool. Where's that music coming from? <laughs> the fields? Uh, from the speaker. Yeah, it's coming from the fields all around here. So for all the workers to listen to? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But because we're right next to the DMZ, they would just like to show off the music, like ah, da 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 da. And the South are doing it on the their side as well. <laughs> so as you're walking along here, people think it's fairly tense. But it's it's fairly calm. You're surrounded by farms around here. A lot of farmers working. You can hear the music in the background, possibly of uh, the propaganda, motivational music playing. Oh, yeah. Kathy News cameramen record the last vital moments of the Korean War as a convoy of army vehicles brings United Nations officers to the truce site at Panmunjom for the signing of the armistice. Within the camp stands a communist-built peace pagoda, the actual place where the truce is to be signed. Here we are. This is the historic place where the armistice signing ceremony was held. At the time, our President Kim Il-sung said that they are signing the Armistice Agreement made great victory for our Korean people. Just made the U.S. kneel down before the Korean people and they had to sign the agreement. So we should hold the holding ceremony like in a big and significant way. Within the truce building, the delegates watch Nam Il walk to the table placed at some distance from his opposite number. From the other side, General Harrison enters but neither of the two leading negotiators make any sign of greeting. The scene is set, the formalities remain. A set of documents is signed by General Harrison. The Red Delegates watch their representative put his signature to the treaty. The armistice is signed, and cameras record the moment of history. So here we are inside the Armstrong uh, Agreement Hall, where it was signed. Here you have the uh, North Korean flag being displayed and their fancy book. And over here you have the UN flag and the rest of uh, the hall here. You have a bit of um, history of Panmunjom. One of them being the axe incident. A story has two different sides to it. And there it is. On August 18, 1976, UN soldiers went to chop down a large tree which was obstructing a strategic view of the north from the south. 
This incensed the North and an all-out brawl broke out between the two sides, with the Northern soldiers seizing the axes and turning them against the UN troops. In the end, two UN soldiers were dead with eight injured. The tree was removed by UN forces three days later in a show of force called Operation Paul Bunyan, during which the North showed restraint and a larger crisis was averted. One of my Korean friends, he's like, hey, you know the axe incident? I'm like, yeah, I know the axe incident. And he's like, yeah, it's all your fault. I was like, my fault? Why is it my fault? He goes, because the axe it says made in Australia. I'm like, really? Huh, cool. I didn't even know we made axes. And, um, yeah, a few days later we went down to Pamunjom. I had a closer inspection on the axe, and it says made in Austria. I told my friend how to read. Okay, we're back on the bus now. We're gonna enter the Pamunjom village. Uh, and this is where the blue houses from the UN are built and the silver houses from the North Korean side were built. On the exact demarcation line. So this will be the third area of all of Korea where once you're inside, technically So here I'm now at Hamunjom, and uh, we're standing on the north side here. And you can see the North Korean soldiers just behind me, but as you can see, there's no South Korean soldiers behind me. This is a recent thing to help ease the tensions between the two Koreas. So blue building, which is open now, that is the place where we had armistice, military armistice commission worked. So we make two lines to go into that building. So now on the Korean Peninsula, we have a very tense and uh, difficult situation that we can have war anytime. So for the peace of Korea and moreover to Asia, we have to establish new peace system between our side, DPRK side and US side. And we are always ready for this. And you see this microphone? It's on the military demarcation line. So after seeing the conference huts, we get to go up to the balcony for a better view of the DMZ and beyond to the south. So we're gonna make our way up to the, the pavilion so we can have a good view. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah. So this chap here has been a good friend of mine for about two years now. We've been working together for them. And he's been guiding our groups for a long time. Very friendly guy. The first stigma that is a uh, usually busted when people first come to the north side is that the, the north soldiers are fairly friendly to tourists. They make you feel comfortable, put you at ease, and they're not bad for tour guiding. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that hurt my hand. Okay. How don't you smile? <laughs> And there you have it, the most dangerous place on earth, not so dangerous after all. <laughs> <laughs>